Fallout, Fallout, Fallout. A retrofuturistic post apocalyptic universe that seduces every gamer with its charm. As an expanded universe, there is much more to Fallout than what its content rich games offer. Fallout takes place in an alternate timeline, where society evolved in a totally different way from the one we know, and that is what ultimately led them to live in a world of radiation. Today we are going to talk about what happens during the apocalypse, when on that fateful day, October 23rd, 2077, the bombs dropped. 82 students from the early dawn elementary school go on a field trip to Lamplight Caverns with a couple of teachers and a few parent chaperones. This will lead the cavern to become a home for the kids of Little Lamplight, as seen in Fallout 3. LOB Enterprises is raided by federal agents. This building is also in Fallout 3 and contains a pugilism illustrated technical information for your character. Dr. Hine, a Nuka Cola Corporation geneticist, is taken hostage by the animal friends and defenders at the Angry Anaconda in Nuka World for his work on cloning animals. His skeleton can still be found at Nuka World in Fallout 4. Speaking of which, as we know, the Fallout 4 prologue begins in this very moment. The sole survivor and their family evacuate from their home in Sanctuary Hills to Vault 111. Once inside, they and the other Vault residents are placed in indefinite cryonic suspension by vault -Tec personnel. For the sake of avoiding spoilers, play Fallout 4 to find out more. At 9.13 am, the Integrated Operational Nuclear Detection System reports four nuclear launches. DEFCON is raised to two. At 9.17 am, NORAD confirms the launch of intercontinental ballistic missiles. DEFCON is raised to one. The Great War begins and ends, lasting only a scant two hours. Most of Earth is reduced to cinders in that time. It begins in the early morning, US Eastern Standard Time. The United States and China deploy their nuclear arsenals. Other countries, seeing the missiles on their way, launch their planes and fire their warheads as well. Air raid sirens sound, but very few people heed the warning. The vaults are sealed. Two hours of nuclear bombardment later, the war ends, along with much of humanity. At 9.26 am, the Defense Intelligence Agency at the switchboard confirmed the nuclear response scenario MXCN-91. At 9.42 am, switchboard confirms the nuclear strikes in Pennsylvania and New York. At 9.47 am, all monitoring stations at the switchboard go offline. The entire United States is bombarded with nuclear warheads. At 9.51 am, the National Isolated Radio Array experiences power fluctuations due to MP from nuclear detonations and autocaps its signal strength. The event is noted in the error log. A Halloween costume show was to be held at a local Freddy Fears House of Scares costume stores. One of these stores can be found in the My Region of Appalachia in Fallout 76. Skylands Air Flights, Skylands Flight 1665 and Skylands Flight 1981 take off from Washington DC and Chicago to Boston respectively. They both crash en route due to the effects of the nuclear detonations. The wreckage of these planes can be found in Fallout 4. Pastor Salavar and her congregation arrive at Vault 94 around noon, as radiation begins to intensify. The Vault Door's failsafe trips at approximately 1.30, locking out the second bus of residents. This vault can be found in Fallout 76 and hosts some quests. Salt Lake City is hit by 13 nuclear warheads, resulting in total destruction. Randall Clark witnesses the destruction of the city and the loss of his family. His skeleton can be found in the Honest Hearts DLC of Fallout New Vegas. The Sierra Madre Gala event begins, but is cut short by the war. The casino hermetically seals itself and the holographic security kills many of the guests. The few scattered survivors eventually commit suicide in the following hours and days. Verkis dies from an overdose of her pain medication, while Frederick Sinclair dies in his attempt to disarm his traps. The only known survivor is Dean Domino. You can visit the Sierra Madre in the Dead Money DLC of Fallout New Vegas. Vault 12 fails to close properly. Once it becomes known that the other vaults have sealed, people within Bakersfield attempt to force their way into Vault 12 to protect themselves and their families. Vault 12 appears in the original Fallout game. The West Tech Research Facility is hit by warheads, breaking open the FEV tanks on levels 4 and 5 and releasing it into the atmosphere. 
Mutated by radiation, it loses its mutagenic abilities, but it later complicates things for the master. You can visit the facility in the original Fallout. The FEV is the first evolutionary virus that causes the mutations we see on the super mutants, and the master is their leader. The Maripos military base survives. The soldiers within protected from the radiation flooding the wasteland. This base can also be found in the original Fallout and hosts some important quests. The platinum chip still at Sunnyville becomes buried under the rubble from the aftermath of the Great War, where it would stay buried for over 200 years. This chip will be essential for the story of Fallout New Vegas. Mr. Robert House saves Las Vegas and most of the surrounding area from complete destruction with his defenses of the Lucky 38, stopping 68 of the 77 intercontinental ballistic missiles launched at Las Vegas. The resulting light show can be seen as far as Mexico City. Nine of the warheads evade destruction, a fault of Mr. House being forced to use an inferior operating system without the platinum chip, but only damaging minor parts of the Mojave Desert, with the most damaging detonation being near Niels Air Force Base. The Lucky 38's operating systems crash under the strain of the nuclear attack. He suffered numerous system crashes and is even forced into a coma by one of the failures before being able to reboot an earlier stable version that allowed him to save Las Vegas. The Lucky 38 is an important tower in Vegas and you can visit it in Fallout New Vegas. Surviving scientists and soldiers based in Los Alamos band together with other survivors they encounter for safety. They set up a temporary camp in a cliff dwelling at Mesa Verde and attempt to contact the federal government for further instructions. No contact is ever made. A small vault is built into the cliffside to shield the only computer they have from the elements. All enclave personnel leave Bloomfield to either take cover or maintain hotspots. Subreactor is turned off. Two Poseidon scientists are trapped in the Agricola lab. After four years, one dies of natural illness. After one more year, the other commits suicide. Due to seismic activity, some radiation seeps into the sublevels of the reservation. Even though the people underground are safe from the blasts, radiation eventually takes its toll. Following the Great War, Mothership Zeta abducts Sally and her sister, her parents having died during the war. Find out more in the Mothership Zeta DLC of Fallout 3. And there you have it, all the most important highlights of the nuclear war of Fallout. I'm Chris, the gaming enthusiast, and you've been inside the hidden outbox. Check out more videos if you enjoyed, and as always, thank you for watching, have a nice day, and game on! Jingle, jingle.